In Genesis chapter 1, God creates a vast universe, forming the earth with a supercontinent with enormous oceans surrounding it. The name given to this supercontinent is Pangaea. After God creates all living things, sin infects the human race and causes men and women to ignore God and His desires for mankind. 1,656 years after God created the world, God commanded Noah to build a massive ark to hold his family and a male and female pair of every animal that lived off the land. Instead of destroying the world, God covered the world in a global flood to give humans a second chance. Only eight people out of billions obeyed God's directions. After the ark came to rest and the waters receded, Noah and his wife and their three sons with their wives left the ark to once again repopulate the earth. After 339 years, using a growth rate of 3.5%, there was an estimated 920,000 people existing together. In 2242 BC, the human race gathers in an area called Shinar. They rebel against God again by trying to make a name for themselves and began building a superstructure called the Tower of Babel. Genesis 10:25. To Eber were born two sons. The name of the one was Peleg, for in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. God separates the human race into numerous languages and sends them into different areas of the entire continent. days the earth was divided. It was that God divided Pangaea into the continents we have today. Some scholars argue that this was referring to the languages being divided, but the verse says the earth was divided. When God separated the languages, He did that in one day, so all the people would not know how to communicate. The division of the continents took many years, or perhaps centuries, as it states, in His days, meaning in His lifetime. God may have waited over 100 years for groups of people to migrate to various parts of Pangaea before He divided it into continents. <laughs> 